Coca-Cola, a dark caramel brown elixir that has quenched the thirst of countless generations. But how did this beloved drink come into existence, and who was the enigmatic mind behind its creation? In this documentary, we delve into the life of John Pemberton, the visionary who, amidst pain and addiction, stumbled upon the recipe for an enduring phenomenon. Our story begins in the antebellum South, a time when innovation and discovery often had humble beginnings. John Pemberton, the inventor of Coca-Cola, was a man whose journey would take him from the battlefield to the laboratory and eventually to the heart of the soda industry. Born on July 8, 1831, in Knoxville, Georgia, Pemberton hailed from a comfortable middle-class family. From a young age, he displayed a keen intellect and a passion for science and medicine. His journey into the world of pharmaceuticals began when he enrolled in the Reform Medical College of Georgia in Macon, where he honed his skills in chemistry and pharmacology. After earning his medical degree at the tender age of 19, Pemberton initially pursued a career in medicine, even performing surgeries. However, his fascination with chemistry and pharmacology never waned. This led him to establish a drugstore in Columbus, Georgia, and it was there that his life would take a dramatic turn. In Macon, John Pemberton met Ann Eliza Clifford Lewis, whom he would marry in 1853. A year later, they welcomed their first child, Charles Ney Pemberton. The family resided in a charming Victorian cottage in Columbus, a place that would later earn a spot on the National Registry of Historic Places. The peaceful life Pemberton had built for himself and his family was soon disrupted by the onset of the American Civil War in 1861. He enlisted as a Confederate soldier, leaving his family and his pharmacy behind to serve his country. During the war, it's believed that Pemberton worked as a medic, but his proximity to the battlefield couldn't shield him from harm. In April 1865, at the Battle of Columbus, he suffered a grievous saber wound to his chest. The excruciating pain led him to seek relief through the use of morphine, but as time passed, the drug's effectiveness waned and he became desperate for an alternative. Armed with his knowledge of chemistry, Pemberton embarked on a journey to create a tonic that would alleviate his morphine addiction and pain. His quest led him to experiment with various ingredients, each bringing him closer to the creation of the world-famous beverage we know today. By 1866, Pemberton's pursuit of an effective painkiller had led him to create a syrup containing the active ingredient buttonbush. Although buttonbush is a toxic plant, Pemberton named his creation Dr. Tuggle's Compound Syrup of Globe Flower. Unfortunately, it failed to provide the relief he sought. Undeterred, Pemberton continued his experiments, turning his attention to coca and coca wines. The coca plant, from which cocaine is derived, and coca wine, a combination of wine and cocaine, proved more effective in alleviating pain. Combining coca, cola nuts, and a southeastern plant called Damiana, Pemberton created the first iteration of what would eventually become Coca-Cola, calling it Pemberton's French wine coca. His new tonic quickly gained popularity, making its way from Columbus to Atlanta. French wine coca, in general, was a popular medicinal beverage in Europe, invented by Parisian chemist Angelo Mariani in 1863. It contained coca ethylene, a potent mixture of alcohol and cocaine, making it highly effective for its intended purpose. Even celebrities and dignitaries, including Pope Leo III, were known to indulge in this intoxicating elixir. Inspired by the success of French coca wine in Europe, Pemberton aspired to replicate that success in the United States. It was no longer solely about finding a remedy for his own addiction. Commercial success became a driving force. Pemberton's tonic, known as Pemberton's French wine coca, gained prominence and was even mentioned in writings by Ulysses S. Grant, who used it to alleviate the pain of a sore throat caused by cancer. Pemberton positioned his drink as a cure-all, claiming it could remedy any ailment, especially for women. However, Pemberton's success hit a roadblock in 1885 when temperance legislation was enacted in Atlanta and Fulton County, Georgia. This legislation banned the sale of alcoholic beverages, including his supposed medicinal tonic. Undaunted, 
Pemberton set out to create an alcohol-free version of his tonic. It was during this transition that the recipe for Coca-Cola began to take shape. Pemberton combined the syrupy concoction with carbonated water, creating a refreshing and easily consumable beverage. He introduced this new concoction to Willis E. Venerable, a local Atlanta drugstore owner who was highly impressed. It was a marketer named Fran Mason Robinson who suggested the name Coca-Cola for the drink given its key ingredients, coca plant and cola nuts. The alliteration made the name unforgettable and it has since become a household name worldwide. While Coca-Cola's rise in popularity was meteoric, it did little to alleviate Pemberton's personal struggles. His battle with addiction persisted and he soon fell seriously ill. With dwindling finances, he made the difficult decision to sell his creation. Coca-Cola, a beverage that would go on to shape the world of soft drinks. Pemberton didn't sell the entire business in one fell swoop, but instead began divesting portions of the company to various partners and associates. Eventually, he sold the remaining stake to Asa G. Candler, a fellow Atlanta businessman, for a mere one seven hundred and fifty. On August 16, 1888, John Pemberton's life came to a close. Though stomach cancer took him from this world, his legacy lives on in the form of the beverage he created. In his final days, Pemberton once remarked that he believed Coca-Cola would someday be a national drink. Little did he know just how prophetic those words would become. Today, consumers worldwide enjoy a staggering 2.2 billion servings of Coca-Cola daily, a far cry from the nine servings sold during his first year in business. John Pemberton, a man whose journey began in a small Georgia town and led to the creation of a global phenomenon, reminds us that even in the most challenging circumstances, innovation can flourish and dreams can be realized. Coca-Cola's story, rooted in the struggle and ingenuity of one man, continues to captivate and inspire generations across the globe.